Hello, my name is Michael Lanasa, and I'm a technical writer for Active Directory Rights Management Services. Today I'm going to show you how to create an ADRMS Rights Policy Template by walking you through the steps in the ADRMS Rights Policy Templates Deployment Step-by-Step -step Guide located on TechNet. A Rights Policy Template is a predefined set of ADRMS permissions for specific users and groups. By using Rights Policy Templates, administrators can establish consistent protection policies applicable to their specific organization. Rights policy templates can also provide detailed protection policies that are easily implemented by end users. This is the first installment in a three-part series and in this video I'll walk you through step one in the step-by-step -step guide and show you how to create a rights policy template. I'll log on to the ADRMS server as ADRMS admin which has enterprise administrator rights in the ADRMS console which is where rights policy templates are created. To create a rights policy template, you must be a member of either the ADRMS Template Administrators or Enterprise Administrators ADRMS groups. I'll expand the cluster, right-click Rights Policy Templates, and select Properties. I'm going to enable the export of my templates to a shared folder that I've already created. The ADRMS Service Group must be able to write to this location, and I've already configured that in my environment. Rights policy templates are stored as XML documents in the configuration database and, optionally, in a shared folder that you specify. Now I'll create a new rights policy template. Notice that in this first step you can give the template different names and descriptions to support clients using different language packs. This name and description will appear in ADRMS Aware applications and we'll see that in the third step. Here is where you add users and groups and the rights that they have over content protected with this template. You can give different users different sets of permissions as necessary. Remember that permissions are cumulative. In the Rights Request URL field, you can provide an email address for users to request additional permissions. For this template, I'm simply going to give members of the Active Directory Group employees view permission. Before I click Finish, notice that we can continue in this wizard and provide additional configurations for this template. The Specify Expiration Policy page allows you to set expiration dates for the content and for use licenses. In the Specify Extended Policy page, you can configure additional settings, including custom settings that you may have configured for specific ADRMS-enabled applications. Finally, the Specify Revocation Policy page allows you to specify whether content protected by the template can be revoked. Alright, the rights policy template has been created. Now, in my next video, I'll show you how to distribute the template to your end users.